the happiest girl in the world. She was the happiest girl in the world. Despite the fact that she had a medicine cabinet but with more antidepressant pills than toiletries, she was happy. She was clinically diagnosed with anxiety, OCD, and depression. Sure, you may have a meaning behind each one of them, but there are no rules to mental disorders. She didn't smile much nowadays, but she was happy. The happiest freaking girl. She knew the sun rose every single morning and that there was no weight on her shoulders to bring up the moon every night. She was happy because she knew her pocket change could buy her flowers. And that despite her sadness, that never made the flowers wilt. That was all nature's fault, not hers. She went to bed every night, barely being able to breathe from the panic attacks. Her body would react in strange ways because of the lack of oxygen in her lungs. But yet, she could still buy mangoes. And in the morning, they would be fresh and full of flavor. Sure, some days her appetite would fade. And the taste of the mangoes would fade a little less to her. But no matter what, they would still be bright yellow. She has not left the house in three days. But her favorite color is still yellow. Even when she felt dark in her mind, she knew the light switch still worked. And if she wanted to, in the middle of the night, she could go over and turn on the lights. She knew life was going on around her, and it was beautiful. Her time in it right now was merely altered a little bit. The rainy season here came at a time of such irony. Drowning and drenching, her tears mimicking the rain as they scraped along her sunburned cheeks. But yet the much needed watering of her thirsty skin, a drought. She wore rain boots as a metaphor, almost to mock the rain and say, ha, I know you're coming, but I will splash in your puddles. But it rained on her until flowers grew out of her boots, until out sprouted a mango tree. She is going through what others may say, the toughest part of her life so far. But yet she was still breathing. She was the happiest girl in the world she knew someone, somewhere, was falling in love, taking their first breath, having their life changed by a single smile. And someone, somewhere, was having the best day of their life.